Hi there, I'm Michael Langer, and I'm the pastor of One Ancient Hope Presbyterian Church here in Iowa City, and I'd like to invite you to stop by our worship service this Sunday at 10.30 in the morning. We meet at the Robert A. Lee Rec Center in the middle of downtown Iowa City. It's on the corner of Burlington and Gilbert, two of the busiest streets in Iowa City. And this Sunday, we're going to talk about something that I think the Christian church just doesn't spend nearly enough time talking about, and that is the Holy Spirit, or as some people call it, the Holy Ghost. And that just sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? You know, I went to school here back in the 80s. I studied economics with a specific interest in, in the Austrian school. I also majored in history. I worked in the electronics uh, business for about 15 years, selling process equipment and analytical devices to chemical plants here in eastern Iowa. And then in 2004, I went away to divinity school, uh, graduate school, fully accredited, mind you, uh, where I spent three and a half years uh, studying uh, theology and scripture and Greek language and Hebrew language and counseling. And, and I, even, I even graduated, and I got this little sticker here that says that I graduated with some small amount of honors. So what does that have to do with the Holy Spirit? Here's what it has to do with it. For some reason or another, I think the more educated Christians get, the bigger problem we have with the Holy Spirit. It's just... You know, God is somewhat easy to get your head around. He's, he's a big entity that created everything. And Jesus was a person, a man, and, and God at the same time who walked around. And that's hard to get your head around. But the Holy Spirit, that's nearly impossible. The Holy Ghost? Who believes in that? And what's crazy is the, the smarter we get, the more intelligent we get, the more committed we are to advanced education and degrees, I think for Christians especially, the lower place that the Holy Spirit has for us, and certainly if you're not a Christian and you're watching this, uh, you're resonating with me 100%. You have no place for the Holy Spirit. How can anybody who's intelligent believe in something like the Holy Ghost? Well, that's what we're going to talk about this Sunday. One of the interesting things that Paul writes in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 is that without the Holy Spirit, true wisdom and knowledge actually is not possible. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what the Holy Spirit's role is in our lives and why those who don't have the Holy Spirit should desire it immensely. We hope you'll stop by. We're going to have a great worship service this Sunday, mainly because we're going to celebrate a baptism of a new convert to Christianity. We hope you'll stop by again. Robert A. Lee Rec Center, downtown Iowa City, 1030 in the morning. Look forward to seeing you there. Bye now.